Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I've got an abs and core workout solely focusing on deep and slow controlled movements. Great for conditioning the core muscles to tone, to strengthen and also to build flexibility in your body. No equipment needed, just yourself and a mat. And once you're ready, hop onto it and let's begin. Let's begin the class on the child's resting pose. Open your legs out and send your glutes down to your legs. Extending your arms in front. And drop your forehead down to the mat. And coming up on your hands this time, and close your legs back to your hip distance. Arching your back, chin up to ceiling. Round your back and look down. Let's begin to flow in cat and cows, inhaling to arch, exhaling to round. Let's stay round, pull your spine up to sky and move it back and forth. Drop your chin down to chest. And one last one as we go down to legs. This time taking both your hands, staying on the fingertips. Hold your body to one side, feel that deep stretch on the other. And switch to the other side. Coming up to begin a practice for core and abs today. You're going to keep your knees together to begin. I'm going to extend your left leg out straight. Make sure you're pulling your abs into your spine. Now once you feel good, you're going to lift your opposite arm. That's your right hand. You're going to extend right in front of you. A beautiful bird dog stance or the airplane stance. From here, let's tap the hand and the leg down and thrust up. Inhale down, exhale up. Beautiful to find that core stability. Great work for your ab muscles. An amazing tone for your leg and arms as well. Keep working through this. Lengthen as you lift. Good work. Let's switch to the other side. This time you're going to extend your right leg. And once you feel confident, you're going to extend the left arm. Reaching on both sides and trying to find that core stability. And let's continue to tap down and up. Down to inhale. Thrust as you exhale. Five more of this. I hope you felt that burn. Let's drop both your legs down. And this time you're going to incline yourself. You're going to drop your hips down, inclining yourself on a nice straight plane from shoulders to knees. 
make sure the elbows are locked you're doing a modified plank wonderful for core very low impact but still amazing amazing burn let's get back to the elbows this time take your time and uh, to the elbow plank a very modified version with knees down make sure your abs are pulled into your spine and your back is kept straight you can get into a full elbow plank if you are advancing anything works pick your intensity and keep breathing give me five more seconds Let's get to the elbows this time with the fingers a stretch. We're going to reach the hips up high and settling back into the ground. Up and down. You're going to try and keep your abs pulled into your spine, engaging for the upper body here. With that, we come to the ground, chest down to the mat. Taking both your hands right next to the body, palms facing up to sky. Going to lift the body up and staying completely on your core. Try to lift up your legs, lifting up the arms, squeezing your back behind. Beautiful core strengthening in the prone lying position. Great to strengthen the back, the lower back. And relax back down. Let's rest here for a few seconds. Close your eyes and just breathe. Coming up onto the downward facing dog. Working to press the upper body towards the lower to stretch the hamstrings. And let's get in a movement for core over here. Plank to pike. Using the balls of the feet to go down all the way for the plank. And up for the pike. Make sure you're not sinking your hips way too down. Three more of this, keep going. With that, we come to the knees and let's relax to stretch our body on the child's resting pose. Elbows curled in and everything dropping down to gravity. Slowly coming out of the child's pose, let's lie down with back well rested to the mat. Bending both your knees and tucking off anything that's under your spine. Lifting the right leg up to sky. The back is well imprinted. Push your abs down. Let's go leg drops down to up. Keep your abs super rock solid and engaged. If you're advancing, you can aim to lift your head up and look at your knees as you do the same move. And 
and switch legs, pointed toes to leg drops. Let's go five more of this. This time you're gonna lift both your legs up to sky. And working for double leg drops here. You can work to any angle that feels comfortable as long as your back is flat to the mat. And again, if you're advancing, you can lift your head up. And let's work the breath, you guys. Keep breathing through this, never hold on to your breath. Three more, two, and one. Good work, everyone. Let's rest for a few seconds. Drop both your knees in towards your chest and rock yourself back and forth. All right, let's move on. We're gonna get onto our elbows like so. Try to keep your abs pulled into your spine throughout the course of these moves. Go in for toe taps, down touch, uplift, inhale to exhale. Bicycle legs, kick, kick, kick. Make sure your legs are not flaring out, keep it close and tucked in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Let's lie down back once again, resting for a few seconds as we continue on some froggers. You're going to lift both your legs up, knees are bent, feet is together, and tuck both your hands underneath the sides of your butt cheeks. We're going to kick the legs out without opening your feet so your heels are together and keep kicking out for the froggers. and relax good work everyone a few seconds to rest let's hop into the boat pose this position is so good for core strengthening you're going to come onto your butt cheeks like so make sure the back is straight lift your legs up knees are bent 90 degrees hands held parallel to your legs if this feels hard you can hold your legs keep breathing lots of work for the core three more seconds a russian twist to follow you're going to lift your legs up hands held like so and you're going to twist side to side If this gets too much, beginners can opt to drop the legs down and just perform the twists. Great for obliques, the sides of your core. We're getting into a butterfly stretch. Feet together, knees apart. And drop yourselves down for the forward fold pulses. And I promise we have come to the last leg of core strengthening for this class. I want you to lie down back once again. Taking both your hands right behind your head 
interlocking your fingers just like you're going to do a normal crunch. Get to pointed toes, lift your heels off the mat. We're going to crunch as we pull one of your knee in towards you. Exhale as you crunch, inhale drop down. Two more on this side and then we switch. Switch sides, pointed toes and crunches all the way up, reaching to the knee. For the next one, we're going to tuck both your hands under your butt cheeks. Lifting your legs up. Give me a reverse crunch. Kick up and drop down. Working two moves with a crunch and with a low drop down. Inhale to crunch. Exhale to drop. Relax to hug your knees. We're going to seal this class with a nice pelvic bridge. Feet down to the ground, hands by your side. And gently begin to lift your glutes up high. And once you're on top, begin to squeeze your butt cheeks and pull your abs into your spine. So we're engaging the core. And if you are advancing, you can lift your heels off the mat if that feels good. An extra kick out of the pelvic bridge. And let's cool down the body with some beautiful stretches. I want you to extend both your legs up to sky. Getting hold of your legs wherever that you can reach to and gentle pulses in towards your body. Bending your knees to open your legs out for happy baby. Hold your and relax into your hips. Close your eyes. And legs come down to the ground. This time you're going to extend one of your leg and pull the other into your chest. Lift your head and try to get your nose to knee. And switch legs. And as we relax, working the same leg to open the leg out and extend your opposite arm right above your head. Getting in a nice hip opener to lat stretch. Now toss the same leg to the other side with the help of your other hand. And give me a nice supine twist. Stretching for your mid to lower back this time. And switching for the other side. Pull your knee in and open the leg out. Extend your arm and hold. Let's pivot the body. To the other side as you extend your arm. Spread your legs out, open nice and wide. Now let's drop both your legs 
of the sleepy leg passively massaging for your lower back. It feels so good to relax your worked muscles on your back, the core, the legs. And feet together as you stay in the butterfly as you restore. Beautiful deep stretch on your inner thighs this time. One last final stretch to finish this class. Extend your legs and your arms right above on both sides and stretch your body head to toe. And bringing your hands down to heart center as we bow down for this wonderful practice for core. And I really hope that you enjoyed. If you like this video, do thumbs it up and leave me your thoughts in the comments below and drop in your video suggestions that you may want to see and I would love to create that for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for doing this along with me today. Until next time, Namaste.